on YouTube. This is Rari Knows coming to stop from the Spiritual Trap House. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. I'm here to do a general sex reading, okay? I have not done a sex reading in a long time. And I have cards made up and things. And I've been meaning to get this out for you guys. So here it goes. Take what resonates for you and you only. This sex reading, you guys can think about somebody if you like. And for others of you, if you just are just, you know, very open to just listening and receiving uh, messages for yourself, then, you know, definitely do that. Um, this could be somebody that you have been with sexually and or maybe you haven't been with this person sexually. But we're going to see what their fantasies are, what they want to do okay what they like all right so definitely put in headphones if you got those kids around all right my child is asleep <laughs> so let's see what's going on in this sex reading i'm gonna pull your energy i'm gonna gather up your energy and i'm also going to gather up this other energy my posture feels really really good today sometimes when I get ready to do a reading sometimes my back will start hollering but I am going to pull dominant energies on what what is around you so what type of energies are around you so let's see that let's see that and I'm going to pull out four, um, four dominant energies, okay? But this is also, like I said, a general reading. If anybody would like to book a personal reading with me, you guys can. Um, everything is down beneath in the description. Um, so dominant energies. And I'm also going to look at the bottom of the deck. So I do see the star card, okay? So with the star card, um, you know, first thing that popped up in my head being that this is like a sex reading, okay? Star card is Aquarius energy. So you can be an Aquarius or someone else can be an Aquarius. Doesn't even have to resonate with Aquarius, but that's an energy, a dominant energy that is around you. And I almost feel like some of you guys, it kind of reminds me of the Barbie Dream song with Nicki Minaj. Dreams of a new one of these little rappers, you know. Um, that and then also even I don't know if some of you guys may may have made like a movie or if there's somebody of an influence that you know you really like that you that you feel like you may dream about, like even with the star card. Okay. So I see Aquarius energy around you. Also, we have Scorpio energy, okay? Scorpio energy around you. So somebody's into this. Some of you guys are definitely into some like some dark, some dark sex. <laughs> and take that how that resonates and how that sounds for you. But you know, pretty freaky, pretty kinky. I don't know what that means. But, yeah, I mean, I kind of know what it means, you know? <laughs> um, next, I'm seeing that you have Leo energy around you. Okay, so you can know a Leo, be a Leo. Um, and this is about... Um, I feel like it can be about delays for some people. It could be about delays. It could be about wanting to expand. So I almost feel like some people may be fantasizing even about a family, having a family come, come from this. So maybe for some people, it's not just sex for some people. Um, mm, next, I see you got Sagittarius energy around you. <laughs> so um, with Sagittarius energy around you. Um, some people could be like have like a new relationship that they may be working on, new partner, or maybe could have rekindled. Rekindle. Mm. Some people could have done some rekindling. 
Uh, and yeah, I was going to say that. I was going to say that right before I flip the next energy over, which is Pisces energy that I'm seeing that is around you. But I also feel like um, <laughs> with this energy, I don't know if somebody's been gaining weight or if somebody's going to try to get somebody a booty or like make their booty big, you know, like you ever hear a sex where it's like, you know, I ain't all that, you know, and if you got booty and hips and stuff already, hey, they, I, <laughs> if you got it, flaunt it, but you know, um, yeah, sometimes like in sex, guys will be like, oh yeah, I'll make your booty bigger. And I'm like, mm. Mm. It's, it's taking a long time. <laughs> it is taking a long time for me to get there, sweet. So, um, as far as dominant energies, yeah, somebody wants to give you some divine, some divine, you know what, yoni or, you know, wand, right? So let's go ahead and see. They feel like their 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 parts are divine. So maybe you feel like your parts are divine. But whoever this is, they feel like their parts are divine. Divine parts. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it a little PG, but we'll see what they want to say. I'm going to pull messages also for that. But let's go ahead and um, get your energy out and get their energy out. Okay. I'm going to put your energy off to the right. I'm going to put their energy off to the left. And I'm going to see what is in the fantasies. I think that's what Ludacris said. This is Ludacris. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy if Ludacris was like actually watching my videos? I don't even know why that's like, you know, I'm just like, you know going down the spiral of ludicrous of what ludicrous means or you know mm -hmm. ludicrous means crazy right mm -hmm. so all right so i have out all the energies um what i am seeing is the seven of um cups energy so with the seven of cups energy somebody is waiting for someone to make a choice this is also a card of like having options. You see how this person's eating? My stomach just growled. And I don't know if you got if like my microphone caught that. But somebody could be hungry. I mean, I'm hungry. I'm hungry right now. Making my stomach growl, like literally. So someone's been waiting for someone to make a choice. Seven of Cups is about having mixed emotions. When you're hot and you're cold, and when you're yes and you're no, and when you're in and you're out, and when you're, you know, you know the song, Katy Perry. Okay. This could be about being overwhelmed also by wanting someone to make a choice. It's almost like, is it good? Is it good? It's like, well, can I eat it? But I feel like they are really eating it. So I feel like she doesn't have to really be up under this person like that. But, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know what y'all got going on. So let me um, pull this out. Okay. And I'm going to set this over here and set this deck over here. And I may need to pull um, clarifiers for this. But let's go ahead and jump into this. So you are the person to the right. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So who are you? So you are the four of wands. Okay. You're this four of wands energy. Four of Wands energy is about, you know, um, some of you guys may have like your own home, your own foundation. Um, some, some of you guys may be working towards that. I feel like some of you guys um, may or may not have been having like relations with your partner or intimacy with your partner because I feel like this came out in the it came out in the reverse position. And I feel like you may have a hard time with trust sometimes because there's always like a lot or a betrayal, like, you know, whether honestly, whether it's on their part or on the other person, whoever the other person is or other people were and or on your part, like, let's just be honest, it, it you know. 
it's kind of one of those things where it's kind of like a hit or miss, you know. But I do see where there was like some type of like lie or betrayal or, you know, feeling like that. Let me see the next person to the left. Okay, so the person to the left, there's a block message with the page of wands. So with the page of wands, I feel like they've been, you know, yeah, I would say with this being in the reverse position, this is somebody that some of you guys maybe haven't had relations with. And for some of you, you have had relations with this person, but, you know, maybe you haven't in a couple of weeks, a few, you know what I mean? It looks like it's been about a month, okay, with the four wands. With the page of wands, you see how like she she's you know giving this person you give great oral by the way whoever you are, great oral, but in the reverse position I'm feeling like this is something and you see how like they have on like the girl has on like this bride dress or whatever so. I don't know if this person was married. Pages are typically, like the beginning stages, the learning stages. Still, you know, learning life lessons can be kind of like, to me, the foreigner. So some of you guys may be dating a foreigner or somebody who, you know, is just, you know, maybe different ways of living or being, if that makes sense. Um, but I almost feel like this page of wands is like, you know, I almost feel like they kind of gave off the this energy of like, you know, them maybe wanting something like oh like yeah i would definitely wipe you up it's like i would wipe you up and it's like would you you don't even know that's what i like to hear but is that true pull clarifiers for the you know this four of wands so with the four of wands wow we have a theme that came out here which is the devil card okay the devil Capricorn energy. So, you know, some of you guys can be dealing with the Capricorn. Can? And you don't have to be. But with this Capricorn energy, this is a theme that's going on in your life. And this person to the right was trying to break away from things that are like toxic. Things that don't really serve them well. Things where there are strings attached, you know, to some crazy as life sacrificing offer that you know where it's not really a even amount of exchange does that make sense so with the devil being in the reverse someone i can say that someone had it has intentions or tried to do things the right way but sometimes even when things are really really good on their part or even you know i guess on you know from the outside look or yeah from the inside looking out you know Things have been good, but then they maybe this person to the right, like just overly judges themselves or judges themselves too harshly sometimes. And I almost feel like that they feel that they're not human. I don't even know what this means. And it's supposed to be sex. So give me a clarifier for the uh, page of wands. So with the page of wands, we got the knight of cups. OK, so. Uh, the page of wands can be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, but can be any sign being a page because they're looked at as like children and, and messengers. Yeah. Um, not to, you know, try to bring, you know. And then I see the Knight of Cups. And then the Knight of Cups is a person, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, can also be Aquarius energy. Look what I'm seeing in the reverse position. And I feel like with this um, Knight of Cups coming out in the reverse position, to be honest, with this person smiling back at me in the reverse position, I feel like this is being shown. This is being like almost revealed to me. This, These are definitely two different people. We got somebody with black hair and then we have somebody that has brown hair. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, we, yeah, we do change our hair a lot and things like that. But I feel like the, the, the Knight of Cups is someone who kind of like is very charming, very charming, very charming. Um, but also emotionally, I feel like manipulative, you know, 
Um, definitely play these like mind games. And I feel like this is something that is going on with them behind the scenes. So even if they watching this, they they hear it about two, you know what I'm saying? Two situations, you know, does that make sense to people? Now going back up here to the person to the right, look at that person to the right. They know the moon, but things were hidden from you. But shit, person to the right, you might got shit going on <laughs> You might have shit going on too. That's the gag. Clarify that. So you got the two of wands. So the two of wands, you feel that like everybody is unsupportive. They're unappreciative, you know. And even with the two of wands, look, they shown you that they was like a wolf. So you knew what you was kind of getting yourself into. But yeah, you seen this person for who they, who they, who they really were. You know what I mean? Kind of giving me the vibe of like Beauty and the Beast. next person to the right so yeah the person to the right is definitely very freaky with the moon card you know what i'm saying you'll be shocked at like what this person will do i feel like you will definitely person to the right you will definitely uh try something maybe two times i was gonna say one time but you may try two times and i put up two fingers next i see the lover's card so see look i said you might have some shit going on too look people trying to look and see what the fuck you got going on with the lover's card did this person make a choice did they you know are they booed up are they are they you know what's going on with this person we have the ace of cups in the reverse position so ace of cups is about new beginnings and new offers love offers that could be given but i feel like in the as far as you and this person Whoever this is to the left, who we haven't even seen yet, or we're all of yet. Um, I would say the person to the right doesn't feel the love all the time. They don't know if it's genuine on your side. They wonder if they're too much, you know, if they're too much to handle, which they have been. They know that, you know, next person to the, to the left. I mean, to the right is the three of cup or the three of coins. So three of coins is about somebody having a platform. Also work relationships, work romances. This person may have like a lot of work romance. Look at that. Seven of wands. So seven of wands, they try not to have it. <laughs> but it's like somebody ends up creeping in their crazy. Like, I don't know what the hell that's about. But seven of wands, this person does have a lot of rules. This person does have boundaries. You know what I'm saying? So they're not like willy nilly with the shits, but you know what I mean? I'm hearing that song by um, Fabulous and I forgot. I think it's Jeremiah. Choosy. Choosy, 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 choosy. Choosy. That's what I'm hearing. Now, person to the left, let's go back up to here. They showed me that there was the um, page of wands. So, page of wands is about very flirtatious, very hot, dressed nice as hell, smell good. They look good. Like, it's like too good to be true. You know, shit that look too good. It's like, mm, no, you come with a whole bunch of shit. Well, here go the shit. Knight of Cups. As was clarifying this person. So, yes, they're nice and sweet, but they, you know, it's a lot of things that they kind of like kept under wraps and kept like, you know, hidden. Basically being fake, I feel like, facade. You can't do both. Does that make sense? Like, you know what I mean? I, I wanted this sex, I feel like this sex reading is, is really, really good. And sometimes I, you know, sometimes I wanted to, you know, want you to feel all that but it's just like you know what i mean i gotta be truthful and i gotta tell you guys exactly what i'm seeing you know so what i'm seeing i know is you know it, it is what it is you know so person to the left let's c continue to see what's the, on your side <laughs> so we got the knight of swords out here so with the knight of swords you see how like someone's stopping someone in their tracks like this girl is stopping this person in their tracks like hold up wait <laughs> what's that like what does that mean okay hold up go back what 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 so knight of swords this is the person to the left does come up with quick solutions really really quickly 
Like, it's so great. Like, I feel like this person, like, you know, in the beginning, I don't know. Is it in the beginning that people show that they have great problem solving issues? Until when? Okay. Give me a clarifier on the Knight of Swords. There could be a lot of talking in the bedroom. They could be a little shy at first. I do see the high priestess. So the high priestess is, I almost feel like every, anytime I see the high priestess and um, like a sex reading, I almost feel like someone's like having sex with somebody who is like the boss or like somebody that is like an authority figure. Like somebody, I almost feel like that everybody wanted. Hell, we got the moon out here twice. I'm seeing we got the bottom of the deck was the star. So someone of even influence, like someone, you know, where it's like, you know, you want it like almost giving me even a, like a Ray J vibe. Like I hit it first, <laughs> but did you, <laughs> I'm weak. That is so crazy. So with the high priest is like this, you know, so this person is kind of quiet. You may have to pull a little teeth out of their mouth. They are very smart. They are very intuitive as well. Um, Knight of Swords can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, also can be Taurus energy. The high priestess kind of reminds me of, um, Kind of like a Pisces or a Cancer energy, but even with the high priestess, they know that they maybe need to make a, the person to the left needs to make like a choice about something. And I also feel like that they may feel a little intimidated by the other person, by maybe the attention that they may grab. The reason why I say that, I don't know why I feel like that, because I'm even seeing right behind the high priestess where it's like some creepy motherfuckers behind the high priestess and they're like jacking off behind this person, behind the cameras and shit. And, you know, not knowing what the fuck going on you know take that out of resonance and i feel like you know even with like me seeing that these creep like this creep motherfucker in the background and then i do see spirit i feel like those can also be maybe thoughts of like even the high priestess so i feel like at the end of the day like this person's like you know, human, grown, you know, self-aware, you know, definitely. Um, now, person to the left, look at that, Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups, they are, they fell in love. Carrie, Hill, um, Carrie Hilson, knock you down. Kanye, Neo. I never thought I hit myself safe. Nah. <laughs> the full card in the reverse position. So I feel like this person is like trying to like keep themselves held back from you to the right. Okay. Person to the left is trying to keep themselves held back from you to the right. So next person, the same person to the left, six of swords. Yeah, they keep going around in circles. You got to go in in circles. Cry mob. Cry mob. Cry mob. Play that. Five of Cups. So Five of Cups, this person wants to come back. They want to reunite with you. They want to make things better because they've been so indecisive, right? Person to the left. Ace of Coins. So Ace of Coins, I feel like they could have maybe broke up a contract with the Ace of Coins in the Strength card. And now they're out of energy. Maybe also financial issues. Um, maybe they could have been in a situation where they, person to the left, could have been being used. Leo energy, I'm seeing with the strength card. We got that out twice. And also, person to the left feeling like they are going to like miss out on an opportunity, but feeling like, you know, I almost feel like leave it to Beaver, like where he see, when he seen the bike and he wanted that shit so bad, but like really, you know what I mean? He ended up getting it for his birthday. Shout out to Capricorns, you know what I'm saying? It's y'all's birthday. Happy birthday, Caps. So next is um, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant Taurus energy in the reverse position. So I feel like this is somebody that could have just maybe got out of a relationship three of cups but there's been like gossiping and you know some back and forth affairs going on somebody saying that someone was in an affair somebody can have an unexpected pregnancy now like the person to the right let me finish you off you have the star card wow baby 
I can't make this shit up. Look at that. You somebody that is on a high influence. Like I said, yes. But you have the seven of cups where it's like, you know, you need to make sure that your confidence stays up, baby. It stays up with the seven of coins. Nothing has gone to waste. Nothing has gone to waste. So in here you have the death card. So it's hard for you to let go because you do get attached. I do see the queen of coins, Cap Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, Sagittarius energy. And somebody feels embarrassed for like, you know, maybe throwing you up under the bus, maybe making you look bad, trying to make you look bad. What's clarifying um, the seven of cups energy with the choices and options is the four of coins. Four coins, I feel like is something that is from the past. Clarify that. Yeah, three of swords, the breakup. The separation. So during the separation, this is what you're looking at. This is what you're looking at. So somebody has like a, a hidden home or like, you know what I'm saying? A hidden like relationship. In the justice card in the reverse position where there's an injustice to the situation because spirit is going to spot it out. Okay. Give me another clarifier with that justice card, Libra energy, the Empress card. So the Empress card can be somebody's like, can be like a mother figure, you know? So... I see the Empress as being, and the Empress is the number three. I see the Empress as being a mother, mom. So your mom. Someone that you maybe dealt with, with in the past. An Empress, whether that's your child's mother. And the last Empress that will give that third um is the new girl. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. King of Wands. So King of Wands is like needing attention from everybody. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Cancer, Energy. Someone that's been contemplating and made the wrong turn. But wrong turn in the terms of what? King of Wands, please explain. Three of Wands. So with trying to what? Explore their options and get what? Page of Swords. So Page of Swords is kind of like information, but it's like information about what? Okay, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini energy in the reverse position or someone that they feel like they can't trust. Does that even make sense? So this is like, yeah, page of, page of coins? is Like, th these are people. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, can be anybody being a page. But this is like somebody coming in with lies. Dishonesty. You know, I mean, damn, this is supposed to be a nice sex reading. Damn, you is not get turning me on. So, um, let me, um, let me see what they want to say, what they want to do. What they want to do, what they want to say. Let me, um, also grab some of these too. Um... Let me grab some of these too. So um we can grab some messages from them. So I'm grabbing out sexually what they what they want to do, what they like. Just getting out some energies, letting them fall. I'm curious. <laughs> and I'm already seeing them. Lord. Okay, so some of your people, they love that ass. That ass. That ass. I would say so. I would say so with the moon card. Moon represents butts. Um, so they do love your butt. I think I even seen the Queen of Cups out here. Yes. Queen of Cups has a nice body. Queen of Cups has a nice body. Okay, nice. They like doggy style. Yes, they do. Doggy from the back. Hit it from the back. Mm -mm. Hit it from the bit. Ooh. <laughs> Hit it from the back. Mm -mm. <laughs> doggy style. Ooh. You know the devil loves that Capricorn energy. They love your feet as well, okay? They love feet, okay? Some of you guys could have just painted your nails, medic, manicure, pedicure. 
Some of you guys are part of the Uchi Wally Wally Bang Bang era. Remember that song? Uchi Wally Wally, Uchi Bang Bang, Uchi Wally Wally, Uchi Bang. So some of y'all, and that's an age, okay? That may be an age. <laughs> Uchi Wally Wally. They say, where do, where do I finish? They love your scent. And if they haven't, and if you haven't had, and of course, baby, doggy style again, I'm saying, you know, they want a cream pie, so they want to keep it in. I've seen an unexpected pregnancy. And some of y'all are part of the WAP era, wet ass, you know. Some of them, they want to make love. They want to make love to you. Yeah, I would say so with the lover's card and me seeing the Ten of Cups. Okay, there's definitely love in the air. Face riding. Ooh. <laughs> they like, girl, be quiet. But yeah. <laughs> Face writing, yeah. They feel like you have sexy legs, Queen. Yes, the, the the yes. Some of you guys maybe like to wear socks. Some of y'all are like very athletic. You have nice bodies, um, from what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they want you to pound it. And I would say so. <laughs> I would say so. They want you to pound it. They say, baby, I'm down for whatever. Yes, and, and some of you men are de dealing with a female who loves to masturbate. I'm surprised the Queen of Swords didn't come out here because she loves to masturbate, which is like a Gemini leap for Aquarius. Um... Scorpio energy. Don't tell them I told you. They want you to mind fuck them. They want you to mind fuck them. Mm. Mental stimulation. They want you to say their name. They want to do it rough. They like it rough. They like hands. So they like the touch. Feel. Mm-hmm. And maybe they like your nails, even with um hands. I also see forehead. So they may like your forehead, whether it's big, it's small. They may like to kiss it. They may like to rub it. Forehead kisses are the best. They want you to text them your fantasies. So they want to do some sexting. And some of them do have fetishes. Um, if you've had sex with this person, they love your moans. What else does this person want to say? That they're working on their solar plex chakra. So they're, you know, I, my stomach was growling earlier. So maybe they're eating and, and working on that. But they do feel easily triggered by you, they're saying. They've been sending you signs. They're saying that they will wait for a sign from you. They want to keep people out of you guys' business. They don't want anybody to know you guys' business. They're asking where do they belong as far as, you know, in the relationship and what they have going on. They're saying that they want you and that their emotions are too intense. Um, they got sidetracked. Um, they're saying that they don't care about what other people say. Um, they're also saying, I feel you don't trust me and I want you to know that you can. My life isn't together as it seems. They say that you guys have unfinished business and I do see Sagittarius, all right? Um, and I also see Capricorn. What is going on? Um, and somebody was being a cheater, I'm seeing. And I'm also seeing Virgo energy. Um, and they're saying, I can smell when you're gone. Mm. Fuck boy dick. So in the beginning, I seen where somebody was wanting to give you some divine, you know what? But now I'm seeing fuckboy dick that you've been getting. And somebody is into maybe nice and slow and also BDSM. So, you know, if you don't know what BDSM is, definitely look that up. And um, maybe look at Fifty Shades of Grey. 
Um, but let me see what is um, to close out this reading. Let's see um, what's coming towards you in the regards to this person sexually. Is the four of cups where somebody is going to feel rejected and I feel like somebody wants to make an offer towards you with the four of cups. Um, I do see the five of um, wands energy. So with the five of wands, they kind of want to be in your space because they feel like there's been like some competition or like a change in the wind. You know what I mean? Um, I do see the page of cups. So the page of cups is about like a new person. So maybe this is a new person that you've been talking to. And some of you guys want to like connect with someone I'm seeing that you feel like you've known from the past with the, with the, um, six of cups and it's right above the four of cups so six to the four would be like you know a lot of love so you feel like you know this is some something or someone that you've maybe always wanted um i also see the towers card so you're being very shocked that it, like that there's a chance um i also feel that um you know for the people that think that they're you know this person that wants to come back and them thinking that there's like competition and whatever, whatever, you know, the energy that they, I feel like the energy that they're going to give off is kind of panicky and maybe like a little pushy. And I feel like, you know, when talking to this person, like you're, you're not going to really, you know, I mean, yeah, you're going to want to see them, but I don't feel like you're going to be as like pushy as you, as as them so it's just like okay you know all right and they're just gonna be like oh so i kind of almost think that they're kind of like throwing a temper tantrum it's like play with me and it's like don't do that don't do that bring your ass over here okay ten of spades come get it so a lot of talking in the bedroom okay <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I feel like I've said enough. Um, you guys let me know what y'all thought about this reading, and I will see you guys the next time.